allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, morning, George. These are your daily announcements for Wednesday, April 26, 2017. I'm Trent. And I'm Dews. Seniors, please be sure to check your school email for the mock election form. Voting will close on Friday. Don't miss it. Seniors, if you would like to be part of the senior slide show, please submit a baby picture and senior picture to Mr. Drasky at draskyd at monoshores.net. If you want the same senior photo as the yearbook, you only need to submit the baby picture. We would prefer a digital copy, but we can scan photos if necessary. Pictures are due by May 5th. Seniors planning to attend the MCC in the fall, the time is now to get registered. MCC has set a special date, May 2nd and 3rd, to meet with you. During this time, you will take your placement test, have orientation, and meet with an advisor to schedule your classes. Please sign up in the counseling office to attend. We must have a final count soon. Seniors, if you are eligible for a gold, silver, or bronze honor record, did you check to make sure your name is spelled correctly? List Lists are posted in the front window of the LMC. If your name is spelled incorrectly, please see Mrs. Smith or Mrs. Brainerd in the LMC by the end of the day today. Honor score payment of $7 is to be paid in LMC mon by Monday, May 15th. Cash or check payable to MSHS. The third annual color run is Saturday at the middle school football field. The proceeds benefit Kids Food Basket, and the entry fee is $13. It is suggested that you wear white and sunglasses. For registration form or if you have questions, see Ms. Conrad. All juniors and seniors interested in being a counselor for this year's 6th grade science camp should pick up an application form in Mrs. Adams' room. Applications are due by May 1st. An LMC fine slash overdue has been posted in the front window of LMC. Even if you think you have no overdues or fines, please be sure to check the list. If your name is on the list, stop in the LMC to find out why. Thank you in advance for being personally responsible. Test out and summer school forms are now available in the counseling slash athletic office. We'll be having a hat this Friday for Relay for Life. First hour teachers will collect $1 from each student who would like to wear a hat. We will pick up the envelope second hour from each teacher. This is Sailor Country where we do everything with pride. I made two outs in one inning last night. Varsity Soccer battled to a 4-1 win last night against a very tough Fruitport team. Mona Shores capitalized on a couple of mistakes in the first half from Fruitport to make it 3-0 at half. Scoring for the Sailors was Reagan Cox, 2, Sarah Mikesell, and Alexa Dorsey. Placed a beautiful ball into the box that resulted in an own goal. Carly McNiff and Aaron Powers both had an assist in the game. Alexa Musk, Aaron Powers, Isabel Grace, and Mel Meston did a great job limiting the chances for Fruitport. Opening conference play against Jenison, the tennis team went 5-3 and three in the dual match. Big wins were put in by Kaylee Cunningham at four singles after having lost the first set in a tiebreaker. Came back to win the match in three sets. The first doubles team also beat Jonathan in a competitive match with impressive net play. Finally, the three doubles team relied on their consistency to overpower Jonathan in two sets. Way to go, Sailors. JV Baseball improved to 10-2 and two on the season with a doubleheader sweep of Muskegon. The Sailors pounded out 24 hits in the doubleheader. Christian Johnson picked up the win on the mound in the first game, and Isaac Oswo picked up the win on the mound in the second game. Varsity Baseball swept a, swept a home doubleheader against Muskegon. The Sailors took Game 1 6-4. Caden Anderson got the complete game win on the mound in Game 1, allowing four runs and six hits while striking out 11. Colby Tromder had a hit and three runs scored to lead the way for the Sailors. The Sailors defeated Muskegon 15-0 in Game 2. Colby Travenger threw a four-inning no-hitter in Game 2 while striking out four. Nick DeBruin had three hits, four RBIs, and two runs scored to lead the way for the Sailors. The Sailors improved to 8-7 and seven overall and 2-3 and three in the conference. The varsity softball team swept a doubleheader from Muskegon by a combined score of 30 to nothing. In Game 1, Madison Van Etten picked up the win on the mound, striking out five. Madison Cerner belted an RBI triple, and Erica Dagan had an RBI double. In Game 2, Lauren Patterson picked up the win on the mound, striking out six. Shelby Savakul had a three RBI double. Cammy Mazurik had an RBI single and Veronica Kaslik was two for three with two RBIs. The Sailors are now seven and nine on the season and two and two in the conference. Today in sports, Varsity Golf travels to the Reese Puffer Jamboree, Roll Stings. JV Golf hosts Caledonia, Freshman Baseball hosts Reese Puffer, Track travels to Kenwell Hills, and Tennis hosts Fruitport. It's a high of 74 and a low of 55 with a chance of rain. That's all we have for you today, sailors. Have a marvelous Wednesday.
If that is not in one take and perfect, I don't know what is. I tell you what. I tell you what.